Hey, what's up, YouTube? Just got this uh, Benchmade full-size Adamus in the mail. Been waiting for it for just about a week now. Got it from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Shout out to them. Um, let's dig into this quick. I'm just going to do a quick first impressions. And check centering, sharpness, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're going to open it up with the J-Cape. Weird camera angle here, guys. Remove some of that. What do we got? Yeah, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Okay. Let's put that aside. Let's see what we've got. What's this about? Uh yeah, some some uh extras in there. Let's see. That's cool. Got a little sticker. Sexy Sasquatch, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. And she's hiding in there. Take this out of the way. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The Adamus 275 is the full size. The 273 is gonna be the uh, mini, I believe. FE is for the flat, uh, flat dark earth, I believe. Okay. All right. And they have automatic versions. I'm sure you guys know. Black class. Let's see. All right. Uh, use the J cape again. Look out for a video on this guy soon. Because this thing is pretty insane. Love that. Now the full size comes with this pouch here, this uh, little carry case or whatnot, and this Molly strap. I believe the minis do not come with this um, extra deal there. So this little um, pouch. Gotta excuse some of these. This is from I'm in my bar in the basement here and didn't get to wipe off my countertop. Had some drinks and blah blah blah. So it's pretty nice. Main USA. All right. A good old little Benchmade access lock. Let's get this out of the way. All right, let's check center right away. Let me see. Uh, centering seems to be, sorry about that guys, pretty spot on actually. Might be a smidge over to the clip side. I'll check that here, the hardware. Came with a little scuff here. See if we can get that. Just a little. I mean, you can only see it in a certain light. You can see there. Yep. That's okay. Not a problem. I mean, it shouldn't be there, but what are you going to do? It's definitely got a little heft to it. Ooh. Stiff. There we go. Check that out. That is sweet. And you can see how toothy the edge is from factory. I will be resharpening this myself. There's our show side. Nice and smooth. G10. Man, those are some big old washers in there. Is that... Uh... Yeah, huge washers in there, man. Look at that. These things are massive. Let's look at our clip side. It's 
check the tip there looks nice and pointy looks pretty symmetrical the grind looks good doesn't look all wonky or nothing real nice sharpening choil and it's definitely a toothy edge there like it's pretty sticky obviously not super thin behind the edge but it's not very wedgy either it definitely uh definitely is um pretty thin behind the edge actually for for what it is it definitely doesn't feel like super wedgy like a hinder or nothing like that which by the way i love hinder too i gotta do a video on my eclipse that i got all right sorry the uh, camera's kind of coming in and out of focus here so let's see in hand i got large hands oh yeah that jimping feels nice it feels feels definitely nice and stout in the hand from what i know the originals were a little longer thicker heavier so this one is about an ounce lighter from the original uh, if i remember right so definitely uh that's a huge improvement um definitely a nice big beefy user tactical defense whatever i love the color combo on this one they do have obviously the black with the uh kind of a gray finish from what i understand the gray finish has a little bit of texture on it um, this one is more slick and plus for me i see a lot of black knives with you know gray or silver so i just kind of wanted to go the other way here and get something that's uh you know a little different the green with the uh, dark, flat dark earth or whatnot, that combo is definitely not seen very often. So I figured why not. Now the clip, the clip is uh, stiff to the, um, or touching the scale. I did see a video recently where the clip on, on a guy's mini Adamus was uh, slightly raised. So when you tap the clip, you could hear it tapping. So I just wanted to confirm that this one does not have that. This one is definitely touching the scale. So that's good. Also, let's see if we got any stick. No stick. Definitely a, a little stiff and dry. What I will be doing is giving it, and I'm behind the camera here in a weird angle there you go yeah it's definitely stiff and dry feels kind of dry uh, i'm gonna end up putting some kpl in it right away i don't have it handy right now Let's see come on baby i'll tell you what no lock stick actually i take that back it has a very little bit I don't feel it, more or less I hear it. You can hear it a little bit there. And these knives do break in, so that, that will break in. Very smooth. And I will be doing this all day today. <laughs> so it will break in very nice, I'm sure. See if we can uh, thumb flick the... Uh, not really. Let's see. Or not thumb flick. Did I say thumb flick? I mean middle finger flick. So put your middle finger on that thumb stud and just give it a... Eh, you can do it with some wrist. Yeah. Feels good, guys. Very happy with this one. I will be doing a video down the road on uh, use and carrying all that stuff. I like bigger knives, so this knife's not going to bother me one bit. Um, I'm a truck driver, so I wear jeans a lot. So this will go into jeans real nice. I usually cut rope, like dirty rope or dirty uh, tie straps. Um, sometimes real thick, uh, real thick cardboard, thick, you know, real thick uh, heavy duty zip ties, stuff like that. So this this knife will definitely come in handy for those tough uh, cutting tasks. Yeah, it's already breaking in a little bit. So I'm gonna put some some KPL, which is that knife pivot lube oil. And uh, I'm gonna keep wearing it in and and uh, I'm sure it's gonna get smoother with time. But yeah, other than that guys, the only thing that I've seen is just that little scuff back here. 
you can see when the light hits it it's not a big deal you know some guys might complain about that but if this were like um i don't know safe queen or something like that i might say something about that but you know then you'd ship it in and wait for them to ship another one back and i mean at the end of the day this definitely shouldn't have made it past qc in my opinion but it's just some uh some paint rub you can tell like some well it's not paint but you know what i mean like this uh i don't know what finish this is kind of like a um a parkerized finish or whatnot and like i said only a cer certain light you can see it so obviously right there you can see all the little snail trails but if i move it like this you can't see anything kind of disappears on you yeah so anyway all right guys i'm gonna let it let it out right there finish up and i'll see you guys in the next one have a good one guys